Hello students, today we are going to do limit of a sum. This topic is a part of definite integration in CBSE and it generally comes for 4 marks. Sometimes it comes for 6 marks also. So, you need to be a lot and at the same time this is very simple a topic. Let me begin with the concept of limit of a sum. Limit of a sum is also known as first principle you must have done first principle in differentiation same way indefinite integration limit of a sum is also known as first principle or ab initio method what is the meaning they say that we can perform a definite integration without using the methods of definite integration so then how is it possible that you, you will get the same answer and you are not using the definite integration. They said that we can break the entire curve into n numbers of rectangles. Okay, So, they are more going into the geometry of the curve instead of doing the normal integration. So, they decided that they will break the curve into n numbers of rectangles of equal width. So, what is the formula for the width? When they are saying equal width, there must be some formula. That formula is given by h. h is the width of the rectangle and n is the number of rectangles. And this you very well know that a is the lower limit and b is the upper limit. So, this is the width given by the formula b minus a upon n. So, this will be like clearer to you that uh, n is the number of rectangles, h is the width, b is the upper limit and a is the lower limit. So, this formula is now very simple. And then they said increase the number of rectangles. How many rectangles? They said tending to infinity. So, pack infinite rectangles in this curve. Obviously, when you will increase the number of rectangles, width will decrease. Obviously, if n tends to infinity, this implies 1 by n tends to 0. So, is h. h is tending to 0. Now, the next step is when you multiply a very big quantity with very small quantity, the product of that is affordable number. If I multiply say 10 crores with 0 0.0000001, so my answer will be 100 or 10. So, that is affordable number. Same way, they decided to make a group NH. Now, N is a very big quantity, H is tending to 0 and their product is coming B minus A. So, this becomes the very crucial limit in this topic. So, using the concept Everyone knows the area of the triangle that this is length into the breadth. So, this h is the width and this is the length. This length is the y component. So, my width is h for each rectangle and length is increasing. So, the first length is f a, the second length is f of a plus h, the third is f of a plus 2 h and we are going up to n minus 1 and can you not see that this is simply the summing up of all the areas of the rectangle and you must know that integration is nothing but the summation. So, we are just summing up the areas of the rectangle and this is how the formula for limit of a sum came a to b f x d x is also taken as h f a the first rectangle a plus h the second rectangle and we are going up to n rectangles. You will be surprised that last term is not n, this is n minus 1. The simple reason is we are starting from 0, a plus 0 h. So, obviously the last term will be n minus 1 into h. So, there are n numbers of rectangles. So, this is the formula a to b f x the x limit h goes to 0, n tends to infinity, h f a a plus h f of a plus 2 h and f of a plus n minus 1 h. So, after understanding this formula, one can easily do the questions.